Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our live stream theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family, bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a fun, pleasant evening for all. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Chrysler 2 litre. Who can make you happy? Hey, the Chrysler man. The Chrysler man. The Avengers are five-seater family cars. And as for performance, Avenger driving is believing. So who can make you happy when you buy a car? The Chrysler man. Remember, from the scrum, he's out of the wing. Artie, you know what to do. Yeah, I do a dummy scissors with Ted, and then go for the line, right? Right, and do what you can to get in under the bar. Okay, boys, let's go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? What? 
Now, only one minute till showtime. For your convenience, the refreshment stand will remain open during the show. Better? <laughs> but you can do it. <laughs> Look, Bubba. Isn't it beautiful? It's a lie. Everybody gets one when they go to Hawaii. Here's one for you, Bubba. to give you a kiss. Come on, Bubba. You have to. It's the custom. It comes with the flower. And give it back. Okay. Come on, Bubba. 
liable to do. Yes. Well, let's get down there and break it up then. Now, what good would it do? Two days, he'll be back again, just like before. Not this time. I'm going to teach that moron a lesson. You're wasting your time. Just you wait and see. When I get through with him... You're wasting your time. He's an idiot. He can't remember. You ought to know that by now. Well, what do we do then? Nothing. Nothing? Wait a minute. I don't understand this. It was your idea he's dangerous in the first place. You're the one who always wants to run down there and rub his face in the dirt. What happened all of a sudden? You changed your mind. He's a blight. I extinct weed and cut while and just spray and spray to get rid of, but always keep coming back. No, I haven't changed my mind. Something's got to be done. It has to be permanent. Hey, Otis. Uh, I'll kick him around a little. Have a little fun with him, but uh, well, that's as far as I'm going to go. What would you do if something happened out there? Well, that's different. You know what I'd do. There'd be a reason. Uh-huh. Say hello to the missus for me. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, all right, I'm coming. Just like you said. How bad? She's dead, Otis. The sheriff's calling for volunteers. Everybody's going to meet over at the courthouse. No. We'll do this ourselves. Let's get the dogs and the guns. Come on, go. Go here, go. Mama's not going to let him. Damn them. Anything happened in that town and they come blaming you. Now, get up here. <laughs> Listen to me. Now, you remember what we did the last time. We played a game. The hiding game. Remember? 
The hiding game. Mm -hmm. I remember. I remember. The hiding. I can play it. Good, Mama. I know. Now, come on. We're going to play it again. Come on. Come on. Game. Come on. We're going to play the game. I'm going to yes. play the hiding yes. game. Yes. Yes. We're going to play the game. <laughs> Anything official you ever done is lick stamps. Now get off my place. He's wounded, Miss Ritter. I don't believe it. You're just out here to torment him again. What's he supposed to have done? What do you think? Frank Williams' daughter. No. He wouldn't hurt nobody, especially a child. Don't you understand? He loves children. He plays with him because he's no older than them in his head. He's 36 years old, Mrs. Ritter. He's physically mature. Where is he? He ain't here. Dogs say different. I ain't seen him. We're going to tear this place apart if we have to. Over my dead body. I'm warning you. You're obstructing justice. And you ain't the law. You're obstructing justice and aiding a fugitive. And you're trespassing, and this is my you property. Him, and you, you just get the, the hell off. Mrs. Ritter? Mrs. Ritter? Is that his rig? They picked up on something over here. Don't worry, he was in the house. Maybe he's headed across the field. Same thing he did the last time we lost him. Not this time. We got dogs. We got dogs. Come on. Ha, <laughs> 
you talking about? Hadn't you heard? Little girl's all right. It's all a mistake. Hank Renfro's dog jumped her. They've already released her from the clinic, sent her home. Funny part is, old Bubba saved her life. Ain't that a laugh? Harless? Hey, Harless, you reading me? legal or otherwise. Objection, objection, Your Honor. The sheriff called for volunteers, and the district attorney knows it. He is deliberately harassing my client. They are vigilantes, and anyone who doesn't understand that is either blind or incompetent. I mean, the man was helpless, for God's sake. <coughs> That's a lie, and you know it. Sorry, Your Honor. I almost forgot. He had a pitchfork. Against four men with guns. He might as well have had a, a feather duster against that firing squad. I object, I object, Your Honor. Now, Hank, everybody get quiet now. Tonight is the last time I'm going to put up with that. Now, either you people are going to observe the quorum in this hearing, or I'm going to hold you in contempt. Otis, I want you to tell this court whether you or these men gave the deceased a chance to surrender himself. You under oath. Yes, Your Honor, you did. Several times. In fact, we even fired shots in the air. We did everything we possibly could not to hurt him. We had to defend ourselves. Def <coughs> defend yourselves? The man had 21 bullet wounds in him. Objection, objection, Your Honor. Now, once more, I'm going to clear this room. If it, will the attorney come on up here to the bench? Now, gentlemen, we have got a very delicate situation on it. 
Now, we have to be extremely careful. You understand? These men are members of the community. They're not criminals. But, Your Honor, they went out and Sam, I'll tell you the truth. After listening to the arguments, I don't think you have a case against them. Henry, Your Honor, these men went out with no legal Sam, right. They... Sam, Sam, you have produced no witnesses. You have produced no evidence. You have not shown me one thing to prove that what happened is any different than what they say. Now, do you have anything else? Do you have anything else to present? No. Well, all right. After reviewing the evidence and testimony in this hearing, I find it insufficient to establish probable cause, and I'm ordering the defendants released from custody immediately. No! Oh! They're murderers! They killed my son! They killed my son! They murdered him! They murdered him! It ain't right that you let him go free! They killed my boy! They killed my boy! You may think that you're getting all free, but there's other justice in this world besides the law! <laughs> Court is adjourned. Hazel Rick, just a minute. I want to tell you, men, one thing. I think you executed that man. And I promise you this, if I ever find a single shred of evidence, I'll see every one of you on death row. Am I keeping you, Mr. Hazelrig? Huh? Oh, well, I was just noticing the time. It's uh, Tuesday, and Mrs. Bunch will be having fried chicken over at the boarding house right there. <laughs> 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 few weeks, I've never been so frightened in my life. I know, honey. It's over now. She's going to be just fine. Try and relax. You know, I never realized she was so attached to that man. What do you mean? That's the first thing she asked about. Where's Bubba? What's happened to Bubba? I had to stop her from getting out of bed. She was going out to see him. But didn't you tell her? I didn't have the heart to, especially in her condition. I just told her we'd talk about it another time. Oh, Frank, what am I going to tell her? Don't tell her anything. Just let it lie.
Baba, you asleep? All the other acts in free. Baba? You should be home in bed. You're going to get sick. We're going to go down by the fire and get you warm. Where's Baba? What? He's not in his room. I looked. Oh, child. Nobody told you. Bubba's gone. Gone? Where? Well, where they can't hurt him no more. Well, when is he coming back? He's not, sweetheart. Never? He can't sing flower song by himself. He only knows his ABCs up to G. I've got to find him, Mrs. Ritter. He's just learned to tie a bow knot in his shoelaces. Oh, dear. Don't cry, Mrs. Ritter. I'll help you find him. Really. I know all the places he likes to go and where he hides. Oh, come on, I'll show you. I'll oh, show you. Merrily! Come on! Merrily, wait, child! Don't understand! Merrily! 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 Merrily!
Don't worry, Mrs. Ritter. Bub is not gone. He's just been silly. Don't you know what he's doing? He's playing the hiding game. Good morning, Mr. Hazelrig. Morning, Mrs. Wimberly. And how are you today? Ever better, Mrs. Wimberly. Thank Never you. Ever better. Thank you. Come on, keep it moving, you sucker! You. Can't you see I'm busy? You ever see me planting this time of year? Oh, no. Well, why do you ask a lame brain thing like that? Well, I just thought it's kind of strange. I mean, if you're not planting, why would you put up a scarecrow? Nobody better kick around now that Bubba's gone. What the hell are you talking about? Don't act dumb. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Putting that thing out there at my feet. What the The scarecrow. Well, Harley, we didn't do it. I swear to God, we didn't do it, wasn't it?
Mr. Hazelrig. Mr. Hazelrig. Yes? What is it? You have some visitors downstairs. Visitors? Yes, I told them you were taking a nap before dinner, but they insisted I wake you up. Okay, Mrs. Bunch. I'll be down in a minute. Uh, wonder if we could see you, Otis. Well, uh, couldn't it wait? I think we're getting ready to have dinner. Otis, now. Well, all right. Come on. What the hell is this? I told you never to come over here. You know how this looks? He's seen it, Otis. Seen what? The scarecrow. The same one. Bullet holes, everything, just like before. Except now it's filled with straw. Where? In my pasture. I figured they'd done it. What not us? Square Mr. Hisery don't know nothing about it. Somebody knows, Otis. No. He didn't walk out there by itself. Nobody knows. Somebody put it there. Of course. Who? Now, who do you think? Oh, my God. Yes. I don't understand. What is it? Who are you talking about? Sam Willock. The district attorney? Why? Because he's trying to shake you. And you did just exactly what he expected. What do we do? Nothing. Nothing? Mr. Hazelrig, we can't just sit around and do it. Go home. You've done enough already. Just go home and keep your mouth shut. For God's sakes, don't bunch up like this. You, you got guilty written all over you. But go on. And one other thing. Don't ever come over here again. For anything.
Okay, you can come out now. Sam, I know what you're up to. Ah. Sam, let's quit playing games. I'm tired. Come on down, Sam. I gotta close this place up. Sam. Sam? himself up in his brush machine last night.
not innocent. He would have hurt somebody. He saved that girl's life. It could have been the other way around, couldn't it? Well, what about Mr. Mr. Hartley? What about Hartley? That was an accident. An accident? An accident? I'm telling you what they said. And you believe that? Well, what else? He was working, grinding brush all day. In the barn? In the middle of the night? He was drinking. They found a bottle out there. The judge ruled it an accident. As far as I'm concerned, that's, uh, that finishes it. Yeah, but they don't know everything, Mr. Hazelrig. They don't know about that scarecrow. <laughs> scarecrow. There wasn't any scarecrow. I looked. There wasn't anything out there. It was last night. Otis. Harless was right. We're in trouble. Somebody knows. Not yet. But they will if you don't drop it. You said it was Sam Willick. Well, it don't look like that now. Because it was an accident. Now, don't try to make something that isn't. Then who turned the machine off? What? You said the machine was off when they found him. Well, ran out of gas. Give me that hotel. I wonder why they didn't think of this. Maybe they did. Good God, it's almost full. Well, then who turned it off? The same person who turned it on. something, honey? Mary Lee. What do you want? Package for you. You got your nerve. Just doing my job. Leave it in the box. Kate, got a sign for it. Get off my property. A friend of mine was killed the other night. So I heard. They all think it was an accident. I don't. That's so? There's other justice in this world. Besides the law. It's a fact. What you sow, so shall you reap. An eye for an eye. Tooth for a tooth. Hand for a hand, foot for a foot. A life for a life. Now, just a minute. You think that... Don't flatter yourself, Hazel Rigg. There ain't ten like you worth my son's life. Word to the wise, Mrs. Ritter. It's even now. 
Let it lie. Not hardly. It ain't even. Not so long as you're walking. You don't fool me, Hazel Rigg, not for a minute. I've seen how you look at that little girl. You may think you got the rest of them fooled, but I know exactly what you are. Stay away from her, Hazel Rigg. This is a small town. Everybody talks. You just remember what I told you, Hazel Rigg. play a joke on me and some of my friends. But she told you about me. Huh? Is it a secret? I bet that's what it is. It's a secret. Well, I can understand that. If you can tell me, I won't say a word. Now, come on, I'm gonna hurt you. In my ear, and it'll still be a secret. I know what you did to Bubba. And you lied about him. Where'd you hear that? He told me. He told me everything. Lee. You know that's not true. Mrs. Ritter, wasn't it? She told you to say that. 
No. Yes, it was. Now, you tell the truth. And who was it? I told you it was Bubba. No, it wasn't, damn it. Bubba didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you anything. Bubba's dead. I know. Haley? 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 The party's up front. Can I get you something? Something to drink, please. This one is plain, and this one is fixed. Look out. You don't drink. Here. We've gone over this ground a dozen times. Well, maybe it's just another part of the... No, it was here. Damn it, right before dark. It's right here. Look at it. It's right here. Don't you look at me that way. I'm not crazy. Just like Carlos. Okay, okay. But why don't we go back in the morning? We have no. I can't wait till the morning. At least let's be inside. Somebody's gonna see us out here and wonder. For God's sake, of course. Is that all you can worry about? Somebody gonna see us and wonder? <laughs> Maybe we should just go tell the sheriff. Are you crazy? You want to spend the rest of your life in prison? Well, it's better than dying. Now you listen to me, Oz. And you listen good. You got me into this now. You just think of something to get me out quick. Or I'm going in.
warned you. I warned you, and I gave you a chance. And what you listen? Now I'm warning you for the last time. Stop it! I know it was you. I'm not gonna let you panic those men. No, I'm willing to make a trade. An eye for an eye. We're even. Okay? Stop it! Stop it, damn you! You listen to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna let you go. Okay? Okay? No tricks this time, all right? I'll let you go. Okay? Now. There's no reason for you and I to be going on. Pretty sure it started here in the kitchen. You can tell by the way the flames blew out. Any idea what caused it? Gas leak. You can still smell it. Intentional? No, oh, I doubt it. I've seen this kind of thing before. These old folks, they let their equipment run down, the hoses, dry rot, leak come loose. This is what you get. Yeah. Suppose so. Still, <clears throat> tell you what, though. I'd like for you to look around a little more. See if you can find anything else. Well, man, we went over pretty close, Sam. Looking for anything special? Just one shred. What? Nothing. Just want to be sure.
Mr. Hazelrig. Didn't hear you come in. Something's wrong. Philby. Ah. Ah. Oh, let me go, let me go! Stop it! Let me go! What's an accident? 
You're lying. He had a heart attack. Well, which was it? Accidental or something? Both. He found him this morning, bottom of a silo. Oh. The green oh. Oh, no. Don't panic, damn it! Hang on! I don't care! You listen to me! There's no reason to throw it all away now. No, no, I don't want to hear it! It was Bubba! No. Yes! He's dead! He's not! We killed him! I saw it! I was there! He's dead as a boat! We don't know! We left him there! Please, please, stop! Don't say any more! You twist everything around! I get so confused! The other night at the carnival, I saw the Williams girl. She told me that. I didn't believe it. She said she still sees him. She still <laughs> sees him, Skeeter! <laughs> It's him! They it's always been him. him! They buried him. He's rotting in the five yards of ground. He's not! <laughs> yes! I'll make you a deal. No. You give me a chance. Don't run out. And I'll prove it to you. <laughs> huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. It's going to be all right. It is. Oh. Uh, Mr. Hazelrig, maybe we shouldn't. We got you. We got to know. Mr. Hazelrig, if he's in there, I don't leave nobody but his spirit. Open it. Oh, oh my God! It's, it's him! It's a prince! Your 
Frank. <laughs> <laughs> what are we fighting for? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> we'll go to the police if that's what you want. Here. Yeah. You have nothing to hide. Body's there. Right? Nothing to hide. Okay. First, first we have to cover. We have to cover the body. We're going to go anywhere we can. Let the body be like that, right? Come on. Then we'll go wherever you want. Come on, boy. Come on. I'm sorry, sweetie. You lost my temper. Do it. You gotta can't leave him like that. Somebody see him like that, we'd really be in trouble. Uh, you want me to do it? No, no I'll do it. I'll... That's the point. Uh, uh, Got it? Yeah. Mr. Hazelrig, uh, I have a cousin lives up in the hills in Arkansas. Just uh, way back there in the woods, there's just nobody around for miles. And in fact, all they got's a dirt road for the last 12 miles getting up there. Oh, oh. When I was a kid, I spent a summer there. Just beautiful country, fishing, great hunting. <laughs>
Bailey! Bailey! Hey! Hey! Wait! Thank you, Bubba. You know what? Tomorrow, I think I'll teach you a new game. Did I ever show you how to play the chasing game? It's fun. You'll like it. It's sort of like playing tag.
And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>